squat, check it. A 30 minute shadow boxing hit workout is going down right now. At the eight minute mark in this workout, I'm gonna give you a tutorial on how to wrap your hands just like this. Beginners, please do not use hand weights and work at 50 to 60% effort. And also don't worry because between rounds, I give you tutorials on how to throw specific punches in the upcoming round to help educate you to get the most out of this workout. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna shred in this 30 minute shadow boxing workout here on the Power Fitness YouTube channel. Round number one coming up right now. Let's go, let's go. Your first round, we're gonna be doing a hit set right off the bat for one minute. It's a one, two, one, a jab, cross, jab. Let's go, one, two, one. Jab, cross, jab. Jab, cross, jab. Now again, we're working quickly. Take small steps and pivots between your combos so you're not standing still. Breathe as you punch. One, two, one. We're moving fast in today's workout. Shadow boxing hit. We're coming up to 30 seconds in set number one and round number one. If you are a beginner, remember work at about 60, 50 to 60% effort. If you are more advanced, go 100% all the time on your hit sets, 50% in your active recovery. 15 seconds. Bring those hands all the way back. In three seconds, we're just gonna work a jab, an active recovery number one. Let's go, just work your jab. Easy movement, move around, work in your lead jab. It comes from the lead side, the number one. You may also hear it being referred to as the front side. I prefer the lead side because the lead sets up the rear side. It typically goes first. In four seconds, we're gonna do the one, two, one, two. So it's a jab, cross, jab, cross, go. One, two, one, two, let it go. Full range, full range, that's it. Fully extend, fully extend, one, two, one, two. Don't forget to breathe, you guys, it's important because you don't wanna tighten up. You wanna think about clinching and flexing heart at the end of your punches. It's important to rotate the back hip, but it's also important to rotate your torso to extend your arms fully. Yes. Come on, you got this. 15 seconds. Little movements between your combos is absolutely fine. You should do that. In five seconds, we're gonna work the double jab. Let's go, the double jab, one, one. Now on the double jab, you can step with both jabs, pull the right shoulder back to extend that lead jab a little deeper. Keep that rear hand nice and high. Good work, you guys, good work. Now, let's do one more, one, step forward, step back, two. One, step forward, step back, two, let's go. One, step, two, one, step, rear cross, jab, step back, rear cross, step forward with the jab, step back with the rear cross. Make sure your back foot is planted before you rip that powerful lead or rear cross. Come on. Non-stop movement. Get in, get out. Let's jab in, step back, cross. Good work, 10 seconds. Great job, you guys. Round number two, let's get it. Here's how you throw the lead hook. Yo, let's go over how you throw the number three, the lead hook. Check it, in your boxing stance, your lead hook comes from your jab side. When you throw it, you want your shoulder down. You don't wanna go past your rear hand with the hook. You wanna rotate into it, but not too much. That's too far. Shoulders down. See the target. Throw it with quick speed and aggression. It's a quick whip from the hip. Some people like to load back foot to rear foot. 
or rear foot to back foot. Just make sure when you come across, the shoulders down, your forearms nice and strong, your elbows not in the air, and you're gonna throw that with power and speed, especially when you can see the target. That's the number three, the lead hook, and let's throw some right now. Let's go, your first set hit is a two, three, two. That's a cross lead hook cross. Let's go, two, three, two, two, three, two. This is one minute hit. Again, you know how to throw this hook now. Throw it with power speed with the lead shoulder down. Cross, hook, cross, yep. Move as you rip. That's it, cross, hook, cross, pivot. Cross, hook, cross, step. Cross, hook, cross, fake. Now you can stay in one spot, throw a few shots, then you can move to your right side with one step, throw a few shots. You can move forward with the two, three, two. You can move back with the two, three, two. Ten seconds. In five seconds, we're gonna throw a block rear uppercut so you can block to the lead side, then throw a rear uppercut with that active recovery. Let's go. Block left, uppercut right side. Block lead side, throw the rear uppercut on the rear side, the right side. Southpaw would be the opposite. Block left, rear uppercut. Block lead, rear uppercut. Again, you're 50 to 60% effort on this. Think about control, light movement. Coming up, you're gonna work a two, three, two, five. So we add in the lead uppercut. Two, three, two, five. Two, three, two, lead uppercut. Cross, hook, cross, uppercut. Cross, hook, cross, uppercut. Let's go, max intensity. Two, three, two, five. Two, three, two, five. There you go, so you have two from the rear side, two from the lead side. Two punches from the rear side, two punches from the lead side. You got it. The lead uppercut comes up on a nice vertical forearm. Bring the elbow just a bit to the inside of the torso. 10 seconds. Yes, come on you guys, don't stop, full power. Let's go active recovery. You're gonna work a block, rear uppercut, jab. So it's a block left, rear uppercut, Throw the lead jab. Block upper jab. You got it. Let's go. One, two, threes nonstop, you guys. One, two, three. Jab, cross, hook. There you go. Now finish the round with the one, two, three max effort. Beginners, I want you to pick it up a little bit with this combination. It's important to throw this one fast and effectively. When you're working shadow boxing hit, you want to work at a non-stop pace. Maintaining control to build stamina, speed, which ultimately helps increase power and boxing performance. 20 seconds. Come on. You're working a hit round. You can add in another two if you want. One, two, three, two, but at least work that one, two, three. Eight seconds. Shadow boxing hit, you should be tired already. Two, one, great job. Here's how you wrap your hands. So the first thing we're gonna do is make sure your hand wraps are in this type of position so they're wrapped up and the loop is hanging down. Put the loop on your thumb, cross down, the opposite side, go across your wrist twice, keep your fingers really wide to help you to knock so that your knuckles don't get crunched together. And make sure your wrap is snug, not too tight. Go around there twice, go to the base of your fingers across the knuckles like that, keep your fingers wide. From here, come back down and then wrap your thumb in once. Wrap your thumb in once. 
go back down to your wrist, then do your first set of fingers by your pinky finger, come back through, make this snug, not too tight. You can lock this in at the wrist, go through the other set of fingers like that, again, come back and through like that, make sure it's snug, not too tight, and then through the last set of fingers like that. And then what you can do once you're here is go around the wrist one more time, and then you can go around the base of the fingers at the top once, not too snug, because if it's really snug, you won't be able to make a fist or it'll pull your fingers together when you're making a fist and that'll hurt after a while. You can do it once or twice, then go back down to the wrist, go back up to make a cross pattern across your wrist at the base of your hand, and then finish strong with a little bit of tightness at your wrist. Keep the fingers even wide here. It should feel nice and comfortable on your wrist and your thumb and your knuckles. Get this form across and then pull that nice and tight and secure. And that's what it looks like when it's done. And your hands should look like this. Coming up in round number three, you're gonna step left, throw a two, three, and then duck to your rear side. So it's a step left, two, three, duck right. Step left, two, three, duck right. Ready, let's go. Step, two, three, duck. Step, cross lead hook, duck. Now you know how to throw that cross lead hook, but now we wanna make it a little more complex with a step and a duck. Step, two, three, duck right, move. Step left, lead side, two, three, duck to the right. Now when you duck, make sure your head ducks below where your neck is when you're standing vertical, when you're standing straight. There you go, make that pendulum circle below your own neckline when you come under. There you go. You wanna use your legs as you do that. One step left, two, three, duck right. And you can add a step as you duck to that rear side. And seven, six, Five, four. Here, we're gonna throw a jab, lead uppercut, rear uppercut for your active recovery. Jab, lead uppercut, rear uppercut, and move. Jab, upper, upper, move, throwing a cover and a slip. Is it guys, have fun with this one. Keep those uppercuts. You wanna be relaxed, but you still want them to feel strong. You'll know what that means when you feel it. Step right, two, three, two, six, duck left. Step right, two, three, two, six, duck left. One more, step right, two, three, two, six, duck left. Now continue to work, let's go guys. If you find this one too complicated, just throw the combination, two, three, two, six, and take a step. Now again, jab, upper, upper, hook, cross. Jab, five, six, three, two, nice and easy. There you go, jab, upper, upper, hook, cross, Little movements. One, five, six, three, two, let's go, 10 seconds. Nice and relaxed. Let's do it again, you guys. One, six, two, five. One, six, two, five. Max energy hit. One, six, two, five. One, six, two, five. Jab, rear uppercut, lead uppercut. One, six, two, five. Jab, rear uppercut, cross, lead uppercut. Jab, rear uppercut, cross, lead uppercut. So you're going left to right, right to left. Left, right, left, right. Right, left, right, left. That's it. One, six, two, five. 
course, you should be stepping forward and back. You want to land that uppercut as you step forward. That's it. Come on. 10 seconds. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Keep the intensity high. Four, three, two, one. Great job, guys. Hand weights. I love using these. They're a phenomenal way to give you extra added tension, but they can be a little dangerous if you do them too aggressively, using them too aggressively. Don't snap your elbows. Don't throw erratic punches. Don't punch as fast as you can. Think controlled, consistent hand weights in your hands the same way you lift weights, and that's gonna allow you to build stamina and control your joints better while building a little more muscular endurance. We're gonna use them in the next round. If you're a beginner, don't use them yet. Build your way up to it. For all my other people, let's get into it. 10 seconds, your first hit, set. One, six, one, one, two. Let's go. One, six, one, one, two. One, six, one, one, two. One, six, one, one, two. Now remember here, keep try to keep your hands above your shoulders with the hand weights. Beginners, please do not use hand weights in the beginning. Go through this workout five to six times first. So the hit portion is you working with the resistance and controlling the resistance of the hand weights. If you're punching with just bare hands, let them go. 10 seconds. We're gonna throw a cross hook to the body for your active recovery. Let's go. Cross, hook to the body, move. Cross, hook to the body, move. Keep that rear hand up as your arms get tired with the hand weights as you throw that hook to the body on a 45 degree angle. Keep working, keep working, nice and easy. Coming up in your hit set, we're gonna do a one, six, one, one, two, three. One, six, one, one, two, three, go. One, six, one, one, two, three. One, six, one, one, two, three. One, six, one, one, two, three. Thirty seconds. Keep the hands above your own shoulders, punch above your own shoulders. That's the real challenge, especially on that one, one. You got a 15 seconds. Come on, fighters. You're doing a shadow boxing hit workout where you need to push your stamina to the limits every single round. Two, three body, two, active recovery. Cross, hook body. Cross, don't drop the weights yet, don't drop the weights. Two, three, body, two, come on, you got it. Two, three, body, two, move. Cross, three, body, cross, move, that's right. Ducks and slips, counters, you got it. In five seconds, you're gonna throw a jab and just let your hands go. So every combination you throw is off the jab, ready? Drop the weights, let your hands feel free and fast. Go, one, freestyle, yes, jab, freestyle. Show me your skills, guys, come on. Come on, ladies, let your hands go, there you go. Don't be shy, you gotta breathe, you gotta move, you just have to relax and understand that you have skills, just apply everything you've done in today's workout to this set right here. It can be double jabs, off the jab, it can be uppercuts, hooks, slips, you got it. Show me that hand speed. Show me your skills, come on, 15 seconds. Footwork, footwork, that's right. One, great job you guys. 
check out this short on how to pivot. Now there's three ways to pivot. You can stand in one position and just rotate your body forward and back by swinging the hips and torso. Number two, you can take a step and turn. That's the second way to pivot. Throw some combinations with strong balance. And the third way is you can step, turn, and duck to pivot. So as you come under, you use that duck momentum to change positions. Try those in the next round. All right, guys, let's go. Round number five, we're gonna burn out the legs. We're gonna take three steps to the right, throw 10 punches, switch your legs, take three steps to your left in a lunge position, throw 10 punches, switch legs, and repeat. Are you ready? Let's go. 10 punches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Switch legs, take three steps to your right, 10 punches. Straights, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stay low though. Switch legs, stay low. Take three steps to your left. 10 punches. Switch legs to your opposite side. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Switch legs, stay low. Step to your opposite side and keep working. Goal here is coordination. seconds we're going to do switch steps for more power next piece so you just switch stance just throw three punches let's go switch stance three shots so you just switch stance just throw three punches let's go switch stance three shots switch stance three shots let's go try to start with the hand of the lead leg. So if you land on your right leg forward, throw a right shot first. If you land on your left leg forward, throw a left shot first. Three steps, 10 punches. Ready? Let's go. Step, 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 10 punches. One, two, three, four, five, six. We gotta make them burn, you guys. Switch legs, three steps. Let's go, 10 shots. Switch legs. That's right. If you only have room to take two steps, take two steps. If you want to stay in one place and just go into a reverse lunge, hold. That's it. If you want to challenge your legs more, throw 20 punches and switch. In five seconds, we're doing switch stepper. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Switch stance. Three punches. Whatever leg is first is the side that you punch from to start the combination. Come on guys, 10 seconds. You got it, you got it, you got it. And time. Check this out. Hey, Heel or toe, which one works? You see this sometimes rolling off the heel. You see this a lot of the times working off the front of your foot. Both of those styles work. Your toe allows you to have a little more stickier, stronger jab. The heel is usually when you're showing off or you're just messing around. But both of them, you can still create power. Work either one. Just make sure you're throwing your hands with confidence, you're never losing balance, and it works for your particular style. Hit, straight punches, above the head, uppercuts. Get after it, nice and easy as you punch, go. Straight punches. Above your head, let's go. Get them up, get them up, get them up, get them up, come on. Above your head, uppercuts. You're rolling a big ball of yarn. Wrap the yarn around the ball. That's right, that's right, that's right. Let's continue to work. Straights. Straights. 
Get ready above your head, go. You wanna be relaxed and strong at the same time. Uppercuts. Drop the weights freestyle, let's go. Freestyle, freestyle. Come on guys, let your hands go nice and easy. Feels good, doesn't it, when the weight's are out of your hand after those little sets? We're building conditioning and strength here. So you can feel what your hands can still do, your arms can still do when they're tired. Pick the weights up. Ready, straight punches, go. Above the head, and go. I'm smiling, but I know it burns. You know it burns. It's, my arms are burning too, you guys, come on. Gotta put on that poker face sometimes. Uppercuts, go. Again, don't tighten up. You want to think about working under relaxed but strong shoulders, biceps, back. Straight punches. Come on, come on, come on. Keep working. Don't snap the elbows. Lengthen the arms out. Drop the weights, jab, and then a straight right to the body. Jab to the head, cross to the body. Let's go with speed. And then stay in position, slight movements, aim right for my solar plexus. Let's go. Jab, cross to the body. Good work, grab your weights again. We're moving fast, you guys. In a low stance now. Straight punches, you gotta get low, fill your legs again. Bring it up high, come on. Straight punches, high stance. Ready, drop below, go. Yes, 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 come on. Bring it up, straight punches. We are building stamina and endurance, drop low. Bring it up, straight punches, straight punches. Drop low. Bring it up. Drop it low. Ten seconds. Low. Yes. Let's go, fighters. Check out this short on how to throw a hook. <laughs> Hooks to the body. Here's how you do it properly. Two steps. Number one, put your lead foot at the edge of the heavy bag to make sure you're in tight. When you throw your hooks, think about your hands coming back, your elbows coming back, behind your shoulders or behind your back, full range of motion, shoulders stay level, let them go. Head stay still when you throw those power shots to the body. That's Round right. number seven. It's a one, six, pivot, two, three. A one, six, pivot, two, three. Let's go, one, six, turn, cross hook. Jab, rear uppercut, turn, cross hook. Let's go, one, six, pivot, turn, cross hook. That's it. Now your pivot can just be, just think, 45 degrees. That's plenty for a pivot. 45 degrees is plenty. It can even be half of that. You want to make sure you maintain your balance as you pivot, then throw that hook cross or cross hook, stepping back or even moving forward. Keep working, keep working. You're working those fast combos. You're working those fast pivots. Now cover and throw a double jab. Ba, ba, cover. Double jab.
nice and calm, nice and calm. You see everything coming in. And again, you're just slowly picking it off and throwing your own double jab. It's a one, six, one pivot, two, three, two, okay? Six, one, six, one pivot, two, three, two. One, six, one, turn, two, three, two. So it's a jab, or uppercut, jab, turn, cross, hook, cross. Let's work. Come on, it's a hit set. Yes, you're moving a little bit more, but you still want to throw your hands with more power, more so than speed on this one. I want you to throw every punch with power, especially that two, three. One, six, one, pivot, two, three, two. Yep, one, six, one, pivot, turn, reset, two, three, two. Active recovery, cover, double jab, lead uppercut. Cover, double jab, lead uppercut, or the double jab, rear uppercut. It can be a one, one, six, or a one, one, five. Cover, double jab, rear uppercut or double jab lead uppercut let's go outside eight punches outside six punches non-stop hit again one two three four five six move one two three four five six seven eight move to the outside one two three four five six move to the outside and here's eight one two three four five six seven eight let's go Full range, full power, full speed. Your shoulders will feel tired here, so use your core to help you extend your arms now. This is where training serratus comes in play. Obliques, strong, deep core muscles, 10 seconds, along with upper body stamina. And lower body too. Three, two, one, and time. Go work, you guys. I wanna remind you that we do Fight Shape workouts every Thursday at 3.30 p.m. Eastern time. Fight Shape heavy bag workouts. Josh and I take you through every Thursday at 3.30 p.m. Join us for Fight Shape heavy bag or Fight Shape boxing workouts every Thursday at 3.30 p.m. Eastern. These are incredible workouts. will get you in unbelievable shape. Get ready for round number eight, you guys. We're gonna finish strong. A one, one, two. Simple and demanding. Go. One, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. Come on, you guys, it's your last round. Move around, move around, move around. We're doing short explosive sets this round. Get ready, one, one, two. One, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. Get ready, max effort. And move, let's go. Defend, change directions, positions. Ready, two, five, two. Ready, go. Cross, upper, cross. Cross, upper, cross. Cross, upper, cross. And move. Come on, you guys. I need you to push with me here. I need you to push. Freestyle, ready, and go. Ready, lead uppercut cross, max, ready, let's go. Five, two, uppercut cross, five, two. Yes, guys.
<laughs> nice work. I love it. Freestyle, whatever you want. Again, you're, you're still thinking defense. You're recovering, but you're still dangerous. Throw whatever punches you want. One, two, one, two, squat. Two, three, two, three. One, two, one, two, squat. Two, three, two, three. Squat. One, two, one, two. Squat. Two, three, two, three. Let's work. Do not stop. You don't have to squat that low. If you want to take this to the next level, do a jump squat. One, two, one, two. Jump squat. Two, three, two, three. You can do two squats quickly. If not, just do what I do. One, two, one, two. Squat. Cross hook, cross hook. Yes. Fifteen seconds. Do not slow down. Outwork me, champions. Ten seconds. Shoulders are burning, legs are burning, but we're gonna finish in four, three, two, one, and time. If it's your first time to my channel, make sure you subscribe right there. If you wanna see what I have to offer, you can hit that link right there. And of course, if you just wanna level up by doing strength training, you see this button right here, hit that if you wanna get stronger and faster so you can punch harder. I'll see you for the next one.